Gordon, my final question for you is, can you give me three specific tips that will help job seekers in terms of elevating their job search? We talked about networking, we talked about LinkedIn, any other tips you think that will be beneficial for them? Yeah, so I've actually done coaching with people, helping them find jobs. And one of the things that I always do with people when I'm coaching them is, don't tell me what you do, tell me who you are. And I, 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 I helped a lady find a VP role, and when you, when you looked at her resume, she said, I'm a, a senior executive regional sales manager. And my teams have won the number one sales team award for three years in a row. And, and I, I said to her, okay, but that's what you do. Who are you? Mm-hmm. Why do you do sales? She said, well, I'm passionate about sales. I'm like, great. Instead of saying, I'm a senior executive, especially in the LinkedIn kind of tagline, put down, I'm passionate about sales. And I said, what is it that you love about sales? She said, well, I'm passionate about sales and building teams, Mm -hmm. sales teams, and helping them become, you know, outstanding. And I said, so who do you think I want to hire? Woman who is senior sales, regional, uh, regional sales manager, or woman who is passionate about sales and building sales teams that succeed yeah she said the last i said so that's what you should do so understand who you are i coached another friend in portland who went for a job and he said oh i'm an agile project manager i said there are thousands of agile project managers yeah. why are you different he said well because i'm passionate about agile i believe it delivers on the promise that it have been making for years and it's great for Uh, empowering the people. I said, well, put that. And then when you've put that down, when you go to the interview, every time you ask, they ask you a question, you want to answer it in a way that says, I'm passionate about sales and creating successful sales teams, or I'm passionate about agile because I think it benefits the customer. Because when you leave that, that's what you want them to remember you about. And it's, it's a subtle mindset change, but when you make it, it, it changes the way you present yourself, it changes the way you write a resume, it changes the way you answer questions, because all of the time you're going to be highlighting, uh, you know, tell me about a time when, you know, people say it all the time, so tell me a time when you had success, and people say, oh yeah, I remember that, we sold three million, blah, 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 blah. Mm. Whereas if you were thinking, I want to remind them that I'm passionate about sales and building teams. You know, my big success is I took over a team who was underperforming. I worked with them. I developed them until we were number one in the region and we delivered 4 million in sales. It's a much stronger answer. And people, you know, people hire people that they know, like, and trust. Yeah. And a, a job title and, you know, one or two results, it, it, it's a little bit stiff. Be a little bit more human. Know who you are, mm-hmm. not just what you do. And show that, you know, this is your, your passion, your calling. And if you can do that, it will make you stand out. And the other thing I agree. The other thing I would say is that, and I see it all the time and it drives me crazy, uh, and, and this is probably more for your American friends, um, American listeners, and that is that a lot of times people say, uh, my name's Tom Brady uh, and I play quarterback and I play for the, um, I, I play for the New England Patriots. Yeah. Actually, no, you're the six-time Super Bowl winning quarterback, three-time MVP, 10-time divisional champion winner. Tell us about the successes. Mm -hmm. If you saved 50 million, say, I ran a project that saved 50 million. A lot of times people say, oh, I ran a project that was successful. Yeah, great. But if you say, if you say, "I I helped the company save 3 million, I helped drive revenue up by 15%. I increased profitability by 6%. You're talking in the language of business. You're showing that you understand the impact. And when you know the kind of impact you can make, then your focus is going to be made on that making that impact. Whereas if you say, oh yeah, I play quarterback, 
Okay. Yeah. So what does that involve? Yeah. Uh, it involves me th throwing the ball and you know running around mm -hmm. a little bit. It, it's not as powerful. Mm -hmm. So pull out the the power of what you do. Yeah. I totally agree. It's all about personal branding. It's all about how you set yes. yourself. And all about your storytelling during the job. Correct. Interview. That's what people will remember you. Correct. So a friend of mine, he um, he's just applied for a job. We, we sent the resume off uh, to a company in, uh, in Auckland. And, you know, again, he's, a, he's applying for a job as a CIO. And you know, he, 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 he had on his resume, I'm a techno, tech, tech, um, technology proficient CIO. And I said, so what do you do for your last company? And he said, well, we, we re-engineered the IT organization, which allows it to scale their business by 50% for no additional cost. It's like, wow. So that's business benefit. It's like, yeah, and I did this other thing where we put them in a position where we allowed them to generate 20% more leads, which if successful will lead to another 20% in revenue. And I said, wow, that's business focused. And he said, well, yeah, because I'm a business focused entrepreneurial technology expert. So yeah. We'll put that on your resume then. We put that on his resume and the company uh, said, this is the first person we want to see mm -hmm. because technology experts are a dime a dozen yeah. commercially minded, entrepreneurial minded technology people. That's a rarity. Right. So understand what's that, what's the additional value you bring and yeah. highlight that. Do not, do not say I'm a project manager. That doesn't differentiate you. That just puts you into the, pile of other project managers we end interviewing i totally agree thank you for those great tips gordon and with that my interview with you comes to an end again thank you, thank you for taking the time to ask you this question i really enjoyed the conversation and i hope my viewers uh, will enjoy all the questions that we uh, we talked about so for the audience watching listening please uh, if you have any other tips for job seekers leave in the comment section like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, reach to us to our social platforms. We are more than happy to help you. And tune in next time for another great interview I'm preparing for you. Gordon, again, thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you. Thank bye -bye. you.